In this video, we'll talk about the student loans sheet of major assignment two. Here, we'll be comparing the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized loan payments, total paid and interest paid. We'll start by looking up a particular APR value to use that is based on your name. You'll notice that the name has been brought forward from the previous tab. Here, we will use the mortgage rates sheet to look up our APR with a year and month of 1993 and eight for August. We go to the mortgage rates sheet and we look that up. So we go over to August and down to 1993, right here. In this table, we read these off as a percent. So 7.11 here would mean 7.11%. The cell is green shaded, so we simply enter this in. If I enter it as 7.11%, you'll notice that that automatically adds the formatting for us. Now, we'll use that percentage and the initial principal to repay, which is also filled in for us here at the bottom in our calculations. We have two paths here. There's a subsidized loan on the left there's an unsubsidized loan on the right. The difference as a refresher here is that for the subsidized loan, no additional amount accrues while we're in school. So when we repay, we repay the initial principal. With the unsubsidized amount, we'll be adding some additional interest on the initial principal while we're in school, and that'll increase the amount that we need to repay. Now on the subsidized side, we are simply looking at a monthly payment on a 10-year loan. So we enter the number of payments per year and number of years here. Then in the left-hand column, we'll enter the monthly loan payment, total paid and interest paid. For these, I'll refer you to the resources for the assignment. For example, the PowerPoint, which have more information about the symbolic formulas to use for these. We can also format these values as we go along or do that later on. These amounts here are also similar to what you might see. So the order of magnitude here is something to look out for if you're getting a very much larger uh, amounts or smaller amounts, you might wanna recheck your formulas there. For the unsubsidized student loan side, we will now need to add some uh, additional interest it accrues on the initial principal, and we're going to assume simple interest for four years. So remember that the simple interest formula is just the number of years times the amount times the rate. And then the new principal, once we've calculated that, will be the initial principal plus the additional interest. Here again, you can do a approximate calculation to see whether you're in the right ballpark. For example, four times 7% is about 30%. So about a third of 32,000 is about 10,000. We're at a little less here. So that looks like it's about the right ballpark. And then the new principal amount is the initial 32 plus nine, about 41. 42, so we're in the right ballpark there. For the monthly loan, 
total amount paid and interest paid here, these formulas will mirror what we have on the left. Here, note that we're going to use the same number of payments and number of years as for the subsidized loan. So this is the amount of time that we're paying it off rather than the amount of time that in additional interest has accrued, which is different. The key point here is to recall that we're paying on the new principal amount here, not on the initial principal. So the first calculation and second calculation will be based on the new principal. The interest paid, on the other hand, includes the interest while in school. And so for that, we need to go back to the initial principal to determine how much interest we paid in total. Once you've completed your calculations, you'll want to go back and double check that you've formatted everything correctly. Note that you'll want to format your number of years and number of payments per year as number instead of leaving it as general. Here, when you change it to number, you'll have two decimals, so you'll want to decrease that to, to zero decimals at that point. And this concludes the student loans sheet. Next, we'll talk about credit cards.